A very good afternoon to all my dear family members. As we for, as we say, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. The current scenario of mankind is simply explained by Lord Mahavira's anecdote. He said, "A man is seated on top of a tree in midst of burning forest. He sees all living beings perish, but he doesn't realize that the same fate is soon to overtake him. Same applies to us. We are seeing." We are seeing the dismal situation of those nine lakh children who has been dis who has been displaced by ongoing war in South Sudan. We are thinking about plight of refugees in Syrian war and Rohingyas in Myanmar, and we are crying over the devastating effect of climate change. But we have failed to understand that these all problems mirror a planetary crisis, and planet is one, irrespective of the fact that it has been fragmented. Among various sovereign nation states, I, Tanvi, a student of MIT CST Civil Services Training Institute, would like to represent my views on topic that understanding the absolute need of world to unite spiritually, conceptually, and politically. Here we have gathered to talk about this subject: World Constitution and Parliament Association. and the very first question arises is why all the nations all people and whole life need to unite under a common platform that is world constitution here no one is ignorant from the fact that we are facing global crisis from terrorism global capitalism global war system and we are reading about the usas and russia's amb ambitions of increasing nuclear arsenal we can imagine going back to Cold War era. Is this we really want for our future generations? No. Thus arises need to unite humanity under umbrella of world constitution. Because no more we can say I am Nija Parovetti, and it's a time for all of us to opine Vasudev Kutumbakam. Now, why to unite spiritually? Because spirituality it talks about transcending. and realizing our oneness spirituality it teaches us that nations have borders but humanity doesn't and thus world constitution is a platform that will move uh, that will move all the nations from national security to global security and for this we all have to unite conceptually because no more we can divide world on the basis of developed and least developed countries no more we can fight on the issues of nationalism versus humanism it's a time for all to unite and we have seen that we are talking about uniting politically but we condemn the hegemony of powerful countries we want to unite for setting a democratic world government we don't want to unite to com uh, complete a selfish competitive interest and hence yesterday dr martin he said that there is a mechanism where we will set house of nations people and councillors so that we will gather people from each and every corner of the world and the decisions will be made on the basis of equality and not any veto power as we have been taught values of our spiritual leader swami vivekananda i would like to share this message he said as different streams having different sources all mingle their waters in sea so different tendencies though they appear all lead to god similarly all the nations from various part they have to unite spiritually conceptually and politically under this world constitution thank you